filming. But if you want more of a rural area, if you like, you violent. It's hard, right? But yeah, that's but that's true though. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. As y'all can tell by the title below, today I have my friends that attend other HBCUs, and we're going to talk about the different aspects to our school and just HBCUs in general. So I'm going to start by letting them introduce themselves and say what they major in and what school they go to. Uh, I'm Justice Arnold. I go to North Carolina a and and I'm a computer engineer. I'm Kennedy Robbins. I go to Spelman College, and my major is bio on pre-med track. I'm Zakia Tooks. I go to Howard University and I am a film and television major, theater arts minor. I'm Tyler Hubbard. I go to North Carolina a and and my major is psychology. I'm Rashawn Schaffner. I go to Howard and I'm also a film and television major. All right, y'all. So first we're going to just start by talking about the different aspects. And then I posted on Instagram the questionnaire thing and I let y'all send in questions. So if we don't answer your question in the first part, we're going to get to it like when I get to the question part. So the first thing to talk about is the living arrangements and like what's the options for freshmen. Okay, I can start. <laughs> so for Howard, for girls, for freshmen, you can either stay in the quad, which is the biggest dorm and it also has a community bathroom. This is the dorm where they usually say like you get sisterhood. And the other dorm for freshmen is CHN, which stands for College Hall North. And that's more of a, that dorm has, I think it's two people share a room and they share a bathroom. And I know some freshmen stay in Annex, but that's not really a freshman dorm. Maybe you should say the boys. Right? Um, for, for the boys, it's Drew and Cook. And basically Drew is like the traditional style with community bathrooms. You can, it's like, you can be, they have singles, doubles, triples, and it can be, I think it's only three people in the room the most. And then you have Cook and that's similar to like CHN. And it's basically you have your own bathroom. It's like sweet style. You have sweet mates. Okay. Well, for Spelman, um, there is four dorms, four freshman dorms. H H Howard Harold, some ooh, uh, Abbey Hall, Manly, and the best for last LLC Dilemma Kai. Yes, but uh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> don't. <laughs> okay. So for each dorm. Um, there, it is community style, but each dorm, it's, um, two people in the room. There are quads. Um, yeah. And I know y'all say that Spelman doesn't have AC in their dorms, which is true, but I say LLC, which is the honors dorm and we do have AC, but, um, in the winter, everybody has heat. So yeah. How you want to do this? You mean to do dudes and you do females? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then at A and T for the boys dorms, you got Cooper, which is an all boys dorm. It's like two boys to a room, and it's community bathrooms. And then you have Barbie, which is co-ed, oh, that's cute. and boys and girls can stay there. And it's like you all. It's like four, two people in a room, but then it's like four rooms and one like dorm, and then y'all all share that one bathroom. And then there's suites, which is like a bigger room. Like, it's two people. You have a private bathroom and a private sink and all that, just for two people. And you share a bathroom with uh, two suite mates. And then there is uh, Pride, too, which is just like suites. All right, so for girls, you got Morrow, uh, you got Haley, Holland, and Man Story. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to talk about social life. Like, y'all can talk about the city, uh, school spirit, parties, or anything like that. Um, well, at our school, it's in Greensboro. Uh, it's boring. It's, right, like, to be honest, I'm, it's, it's not like, if you come from like a city, a big city, it's going to be like real different because Greensboro is like country. country. It's like. It's slow. It's slow. It's like, yeah. But like once you get a car, you could drive down to Charlotte, and that's like that's where most like upperclassmen go. Can freshmen yeah. have their cars? No, freshmen can't have their cars. Too. Second semester you can, but not first semester. Yeah, yeah. and then, but the um, what was it? 
parties or uh, just school spirit? School spirit, yeah. We got, we got best school. Hey, we, 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 we got a lot of spirit. We got the best school spirit. I love it. Like, I know, yeah, yeah, she know it. That. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, the parties. Uh, the parties. So it's like a group that throws our parties and like. You explain the parties, bro. It's like the parties, they fun, but they yeah. they get it's like repetitive. So it's like the same people, the same music. Mm. They'll do like. Caribbean music for like an hour, and then <laughs> no, no, that's how that's really Caribbean music, bro. Yeah, it's really like going to parties. And then they'll play since it's North Carolina, they play Stunner, Stunner, Stunner. That's all they listen to. Oh, they be lit. They be lit though. It be lit though. The parties be lit. Mm -hmm. Six star parties be lit. Yeah, six star lit. CDK and yeah, all them. Yeah. Um. Okay, I know for Howard y'all, city life. City yeah. life, y'all, we're in D.C., so if you want to go out and explore the city, like, you can. That's yes. fun, of course. Of course, you know, um, you can take the Marta. So, it's a lot of things you can do city-wise for Howard, because we're in the heart of the city. Also, um, and I'm going to say something for him to say, too, but our parties are usually very fun, especially during freshman week, y'all. Freshman week is the first week that we on campus, and it's literally nothing but parties and, like, yeah. events for freshmen. So I know like that's when I had the most fun. Um, usually like we literally, I'm pretty sure it's a party every single weekend, every Friday, and every Saturday. But eventually you really will get tired of it. So that's yeah. when it's time for you to go out and explore the city. And school spirit, I haven't really went to the games and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you know more about that. I haven't either. I feel like we have school spirit, but it's not consistent. Yeah. Like people acting like they're too, too good to have fun sometimes. Um, but for the city, like all of the museums, like all of those stuff is free. It's free, so it's always something to do. Like the Smithsonian's, all of those museums, everything. Yeah. That's fun. Um, what else? I would say like, well, maybe I feel like school spirit, like rest fest, is a big thing. Like the stroll, step, and dance teams at each of the dorms. So I would say that kind of has to do with school culture. That's pretty big there. Um, well, Spellman's in Atlanta. So you know how that go, Atlanta best city, yeah. So you can go anywhere in Atlanta from Spelman to get downtown. It's like literally 10, 10 minutes, not even that. Um, like Zakia said, freshman week, we call ours NSO. And with NSO, we link with Morehouse and Clark and we have like a bunch of parties. There's parties um, on the promenade. There, That's like kind of the connection with all the schools. Um, we have outside parties, um, like hosted by like other like what do you call those event planners? Yeah, a party <laughs> promoters. Yeah. <laughs> Please, okay, party promoters. Um, I didn't really get to experience a lot of NSO because um, I was I was a Morehouse cheerleader for football, so I, most of my time was spent practicing for that or at cheer camp because cheer camp was like in. NSO, but for the most part, we do like for freshmen, we do have a lot of school spirit in the beginning. Um, I would say our homecoming is where we have a lot more spirit than like our actual games, like our games that aren't homecoming. But yeah, we also have freshman stroll, which is like really big. We go hard at the stroll offs. Um, yeah. <laughs> Is homecoming a question? Yeah. We yeah. I'm gonna do that okay, one. but yeah. So our That's school cool. spirit. Mm, yeah, I would That's say our school spirit is spirit is good. I would say spell house school spirit is good, but not spark house. That's with Clark. Yeah. But for the most part, no. You wanted to talk about sports? Oh yeah. Now that she bring it up, um, our sports are good. We got the best women's basketball team, best football team, number one football team. I thought it was Southern. Okay. Nah, we just made it to the championship. Okay. Who do y'all play against? Uh, Alcorn. Alcorn. Oh, yeah. And then our band. Oh, yeah. Our band. Yeah. Oh. I'll yeah. give it. I know y'all heard about the band. Yeah. Our football team is trash. Y'all probably have no But I think, didn't our volleyball team just win championship? Uh oh. Yeah, the volleyball team. Yeah, I love like it. I'm not going to say nothing about our football team because I can get in trouble for saying something. Yeah, cut that out to me. I'm sorry. Y'all don't, yeah, don't bash me. Y'all not trash. <laughs> it just wasn't a good, a good uh -oh. season. That's very nice. Yeah. So basically, y'all, as far as like social life, um, the city, 
parties and all that stuff. It's really just what you want to mm -hmm. get out of the school because Howard and Spelman are in the urban areas. So if you want to get like the city experience, then you might want to look into Howard or Spelman. But if you want more of a rural area, if you like, you violate it. It's so hard, right? Rural. Rural. But yeah, that's true. But, but, but that's true, though. That's, you that's, just say, but that's kind no, of true. That's though. true. If you but want that's more of a, consider, yeah, like a calm setting, and you know, like you might get distracted easily. Hey, we still lit though. Then Don't get it wrong. You might want to look into NK. Um. Okay. So. Exactly. Now let's talk about the food options. How y'all feel about the food? Okay, and cat probably has the worst food. Well, you always at a cat. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, so we got a big calf and we got a little calf. Uh oh, what's that? Little calf is like what they call it, baby calf. It's only open uh to 11, it, 11 to two. Yeah, from four. But little ca okay. baby calf is where most people go because <laughs> like they got like better food, but the portions are smaller. And then big calf, it's like. It's morning. What, morning. what outside food options? Oh have? yeah, we got McAllister's. What's yeah. that? It's like Panera like Bread. It's like a deli. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they have it here <laughs> in Atlanta. They do. Yes, they oh God, they do. They do. I heard it. You heard it? Thank you. Uh, it. <laughs> no, it's, it's funny. McAllister's. Yeah. Okay, what a no, got? We got Aggie Wings. We got Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, okay. Starbucks. Okay, who what college don't got Starbucks? Dang. Bro, Dang. Oh, <laughs> like, 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 oh, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like the viewers wanted to be a conversation too, not just really like stage, like just boring. Like, yeah, I got you. Yeah, okay. you, you know what I'm saying? Trying to spice it up. Yeah, okay. you know. What I'm saying? Right, go ahead. <laughs> um, Howard, y'all. Howard has two cafeterias, Blackburn and NX, and Blackburn. It's only open on the weekdays, but to me, Blackburn food is better. Yeah. Um, NX is also open on the weekends, and they be doing good stuff too. Like they'll have brunch. Like Ooh. the other day, they had uh, what time was it? Brunch. Oh, that video that went viral. She gonna <laughs> she gonna put it right here. <laughs> We had it was like brunch from ten to midnight. Yeah, and they had like French yeah. toast sticks and all that stuff. Girl, we be having that for brunch. That was, that was, that that was lit. Lit. No, and so it was like a little party. It was, in the a, it was a kickoff finals week. Yeah, it was yeah. Lit. So that was fun. DJ also, excuse me, I'm oh. talking about my school. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> my bad. Also, y'all, we um have um bison bucks, and so you can go into Punch Out. Which is in Blackburn, but it's like a complete, yeah, like, it's like different. It's like food court style. Yeah. And you can get chicken wings out of there, pasta, uh, custom-made pizza, and they have a little <laughs> rice place. So you can go there, but you also can use your bison bucks. At Chipotle, Subway, Starbucks, um, Pop Bellies yeah. probably. I ain't been to Pop Bellies. Yeah, Pop Bellies. Well, it's like a whole street on McDonald's. Georgia Avenue. It's like a Jamaican place, a Chinese place. Oh, and we got Ho Chi. That's yeah. real popular. Hochi, yeah. Y'all need to check out Hochi. <laughs> That's Howard trying to Okay, my turn. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Hochi live. Y'all should have been before. No, I'm not saying it's oh, fine. I'm just saying like, okay. But we have... Chick-fil-A. Y'all have... Chick <laughs> That Chick Fil A MLK. Uh, Wait, so, no, Chris, I'm not stupid. Okay, everything. oh my god. Okay, yes, we have that, but nobody's gonna walk into West End to go to Mister Everything. It's like good. Mister Everything, that, but that, it's that, right that, there. But we don't. I don't walk over there. Oof. All right, so what y'all got? Okay, so at Spelman we have two calves. We have Upper Manly and Lower Manly, and Upper Manly is where like the big calf is, and there we have we have breakfast, brunch. Um, and dinner, but everybody really likes just the breakfast. Like nobody really be going there for dinner. Um, brunch is only on Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah, so just breakfast. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So lower Manly, <laughs> lower Manly has a uh, so. <laughs> Bro, talk. What is wrong with her? <laughs> She's like a school Oh god. No, I'm not. Too bad. Lower Manly has Subway, Starbucks, and um <coughs> and Twisted Taco. That's kinda like a Willie's and Moe's. Okay, wait, okay, wait. Okay, wait. <laughs> so remember so you know like how Stoneman is like a part of the AUC and it's like one big school. So we usually go to Morehouse to get go to Chick-fil-A or Witch Witch. Yeah. And then we go to Clark sometimes for Moe's and they have like another Chick-fil-A there. Yeah. Bro, who eat that? That's what you're I don't, I don't, 
Oh, you just tell them. Yeah, just tell them, though, but I prefer, like, I just go to Chick-fil-A a lot. Twisted Taco is good. And, of course, Starbucks. Yeah. Oh, we got and we have um, meal exchanges, and we have points. And which are points, you can't use, like, a lot with meal exchanges, but with points, that's how you get most of, like, the outside food options. And if you're considering Spellman, when you get your Morehouse brother, I would say um, get a real close relationship with him or any other Morehouse boy so they can pay for your Chick-fil-A through their, like, Morehouse Bucks, whatever it is, whatever it's called, yeah. We should have explained Bison Bucks versus Dining Dollars. Oh, yeah, we have Dining Dollars. Dining Dollars. No, no, we kinda, Morehouse has Dining Dollars. We yeah. kind of confuse that. Dining Dollars is what you use at the food places, but Bison Bucks is, like, you can mm -hmm. use it at the bookstore and, like, mm -hmm. you can use it in exchange for money, basically. Yeah. Like, at the C-stores on campus and stuff. A C store is just like a mini Convenience market. Store, yeah. yeah. Ours is called the pod and that's like a gas station. It looks like a gas station. Yeah. Y'all like gas stations. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so now they wanted to know about like academics as far as like class sizes, how do y'all feel um the professors like relationship with the students is and they also wanted to know about scholarships and how do you get scholarships through the school. So I can start. Howard, um, so Howard has some really large classes and they also have some small classes. Mm -hmm. So I know this year I had, I probably would say one of my classes had like 100 people in it. And that was for my digital media literacy class. So that was more of a hands-on class since it's so much more um, work. It was also a three-hour class. And I only had it once a week. So everybody kind of had to get in it because they don't have it that much. Um, but I also had classes where it was just like 15 of us. So the class sizes definitely vary. Um, as far as relationships with our professors, I feel like it's what you make of it. So the professors are always going to be there. They're going to have office hours. So if you go, if you email them, if you talk to them, then they're definitely going to be willing to help out. Lastly, as far as scholarships, Howard, Howard directly offers you a scholarship when you apply. So there is not a separate application. When you apply for the school, you will automatically roll over. And based on, basically the way they determine scholarships is kind of how everybody who apply is doing. So if a lot of people are doing well, then that's kind of how they allot the scholarship money. But honestly, y'all, uh, I feel like don't just depend on the school to give you money. Apply yes. for outside, outside scholarships mm -hmm. too because it is just like it will vary so much and you don't want that to be like your only option. Mm -hmm. I feel like you said enough. Um, I think you covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was it? Teachers? Relationship with teachers, scholarships, class sizes, anything academic wise or like scholarship wise. Um, I haven't taken math but I heard like the math department is pretty hard or like we have a lot of foreign teachers, so people say that's kind of a struggle, taking math. But as far as, like, the relationships, like Zakia said, is what you make it. Like, if you want to have a good relationship, you can. But you got to, like, foster that. Go do what you need to do. Um, class sizes. I had a similar situation. Like, I had a really big class, but it, like, we only had it on Mondays. There was a lot of people in there. And then I also had small classes, too. So it's a mixture. And I know, like, some people, it depends on your major. I know school communication, we don't have to take it. But freshman seminar, it's like a freshman class. And that's held in Crampton, which is our auditorium, and that's like a bunch of people. Yeah. Okay. Um, for Spelman, our class size is not that not that big. I don't have any big classes. I don't think anybody has big classes. Um, my largest class size was probably twenty five to thirty, and that was just for like my bio lecture. Um, but for my math class, about fifteen to twenty. Um, the teacher student relationship, um, I would say for the most part, they're, they're very like their communicate communication skills are great. Um, but I would say that if you don't come to class, if your attendance is like not good, um, all that stuff, they're not, they're, they're just going to give you your grade that you deserve and not try to build a relationship. But me, I try to build a relationship with my teachers because I know I like to just have like that type of relationship with my teachers um oh about scholarships um Spelman is very I want to say it's just hard to get scholarships at Spelman and um the credentials are very hard to get a scholarship but there's um once you apply then that rolls you over like the kid with Howard they rolls you over 
um but i strongly encourage you apply for other outside scholarships because it's no guarantee that you're going to get a scholarship from spelman because everybody going into spelman is is smart and has this 4.0 gpa this high sat act score so it's very competitive so they have a, a certain amount that they can only give so yeah try to get outside scholarships but for the most part it's it's good academics i have classes be in school um, for class sizes, um, you're going to have some big classes and some small classes. Like, it's usually, like, the labs or the, um, like, the lectures that are big. Like, so for my, for my side, for my major, my class has at least, like, 80 people in there. Ooh. And then for my algebra class, it's, like, 30 people in there. So it's, it's, it's like, a difference. It just depends on what classes you're taking. Yeah, I would say the same thing. Like, my engineering class is probably 20 of us. But then when I get to my engineering lecture class, it's 75 of us. But one thing I would say about uh, A&T is that our science for uh, department is terrible. Because uh, it's a lot of foreign teachers, and they really don't speak English like that. So, but the teachers are it's hard like to understand them. But it'd be at like, the yeah. same time. Like, they're, they're involved. They're, if you go and let them know, like, what you need to do, like, they'll make sure that it gets done. But if you're not like involved they don't care yeah honestly y'all i think it just comes down to like you have to be in control of your like this is your learning experience so yeah. if you feel like you don't understand something there are a numerous amount of students who have taken this class before you like reach out to people i know for us every time like in the beginning of the semester as soon as we got into the classroom they were creating group me's. Mm -hmm. So hit the group me up, be like, let's have a study session. It's just, you have to take control over your learning yeah. experience. So all of these, they may sound like negatives, but it will make you stronger and more a more independent learner if you like find the positives in the situation. Mm -hmm. um, but now they wanted to know how was homecoming for us? Boy. Hey, <laughs> okay. we got the number one homecoming in the world. If y'all ain't know. Okay. Jiho. No, Lit every, lit every day. Every day. I mean, of I week. Who did y'all have that was celebrities? Black Youngster. 21 Savage. Who else we had? Desi Banks. Uh, the comedy did. show. Chico B. They won. We did. Who else we had? What's that girl named? The comedian? Be oh. Be Simone. No, uh -huh. Be Simone. She be wearing like bonnets. And, and she, she be wearing oh, bathrobes. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty V. Oh, yeah. Yeah. they were lit. Like, uh, yeah, really was lit. We had more artists. Oh. You told me more. Like, yeah, Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti was mm -hmm. there. Uh, mm -hmm. What's that singer? Oh, that singer. She sings. Uh, Arlen, uh, Arlen, 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 Arlen. Arlen. Oh, oh, that was good. Sing. Oh, like, like, Shay, but, but I feel like it could have <laughs> been. I feel like our G -O, like the concert could have been better yeah. because like, yeah. like Twenty One Savage, he good at rapping, but he ain't like a good. performer. Wow. But they say he sounds like really monotone. Folks yeah. was leaving early. They were leaving on 21. Uh, I stayed the whole time. Yeah, that's but true. They was leaving early. He kept performing though. Uh, but Jiho, that day was late. especially was, especially game day. Oh, game day was. Y'all went to parties every night. It was so, every, every, night. Night. every night. I bought uh, an all access pass. Uh, all access pass. We got yeah. to skip the line. Oh, y'all was lit. Yeah, every night. Jiho was different. Ten out of ten. I'll let ten you talk about homecoming, and I'll add what you know. <laughs> I'm trying to really recap. Well, I know it was just it was okay. Like yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Like yeah. it was cool. Like I think my yeah. expectation was too high. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I feel like it was mostly for the like. alumni. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. After we went, I felt like it was for the alumni because people say like how our homecoming is where it's at, yeah. and I feel like that's if you're coming back if you're the alumni. Um, who do who all do we have? We had the baby. Sweetie. Sweetie. Sweetie, I think that's it. Y'all was good. <laughs> I mean, it was other people. The I don't know. Baby. I don't know. Baby, what was not? Uno, dos, tres. Oh, cuatro. Yeah, what's up, Jay? Uh, MK. MK. Yeah, I like yeah, him. Yeah, Stunner too. Oh yeah, we had Stunner. Uh, yeah, we know y'all did because y'all love Stunner. I think that's it. Was that it? It was other people, had, but I don't know. Kanye did his Sunday service. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was lit. Y'all had y'all had like Cardi. Playboy Cardi was who? Not this. Somebody came. No, they said Kid Cudi came. People. But I don't know. Somebody came and was just there and it was like, oh, oh he here type kind of. No, it was somebody out. It'll come. Kim Kardashian was there too. Uh, yeah. Of course. I mean, so, so, yeah, Homecoming was just okay. Honestly, I feel like 
And then for the tailgate game. Oh, and they had, we had the Queen of Slims um, screen. I couldn't yeah, go. Yeah, that was good. That was, oh, that was I mean, they had, they had stuff like throughout the week for us. Y'all, comment below if you cried in. Because I did. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Right. <laughs> But yeah, so our homecoming was just okay. I also yeah. think, um, <laughs> I think as we get older, we'll be able to enjoy make, it more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly, also, I, think, I think it's what you make it like. Yeah, we could have had fun if we wanted to. Yeah. I feel like we could have did more. Yeah, because we didn't even go to tailgate. Yeah, where oh, did we go? Yeah. Where, did, where did we go? We was we was supposed to go, but it took us so long to get ready. And by the time we got down there, it was over. We didn't go to no parties, y'all. We folded. We folded. Yeah. We didn't go to it's, no parties. It's our fault. It's, it's, our it's fault. really our fault. We can say that. Because, yeah, I would say for homecoming, like, you can make your homecoming boring. Like, you can sit in your little room yeah, and just be go. like, yeah. Remember, I'm going to tell you. Okay, for oh. Spell House and Spell House Homecoming. Spell House Homecoming is so fun, y'all. Like, every day it was something with the school at night. And then we did something later on. But um, we had <sighs> Young Thug. Pause for that. That was. I did not know you had that. Though. We had young. We had young thug. We had a uh, Boosie. He came out. Uh, no, we had little baby. Okay, but the little baby performance. He wasn't a part of our concert. He was a part of the Monday. We had YouTube fan fest, and so there was like a bunch of like YouTubers. Like, what's that girl name? Who? Um, oh, who likes Nate? Uh, uh, Nicole TV. Whatever, no, what? Whatever yeah, Nicole is. TV. Uh, we had Queen come, but Queen sung, sang her songs, yeah. Um, then Lil Baby, it was a lot of other people, but then Queen came out, I mean, Lil Baby came out at the end and did a whole concert. Y'all, that was so yeah, That was a good way to kick off, like, Homecoming. Um, we had the fashion show. The, oh, we had a fashion show. Yeah, too. that and was. I, I love the fashion oh, show. Right. Step we, show, we step. It was everybody didn't really want to go to the step show. I couldn't go. Um, I couldn't go to a lot of school. Um, we had the R&B concert. But we had 7th Streeter. Like, it wasn't a big thing. But it was just cute to, like, get, like, really pretty and just go and just, like, you know, vibe or whatever. And then um, for tailgate or the game, I couldn't tailgate because I was actually cheering. So, like, um, I couldn't experience tailgate, not until the end. But it actually ended up raining. So, like, when the game was over... I couldn't even tailgate, so I left. But I went to a party later on that night. But it was parties every night. And I, didn't, I remember getting back to my room at, like, what, 3, 4 in the morning. And then have to get up for my 8 a.m., 9 a.m. But, yeah, homecoming was real fun, y'all. Like, I remember, I'll always remember that, my, my freshman year homecoming. But I'm excited to come back as, like, an alumni. Because, yeah. like, they, woo. They be two times. Oh, I'm not be having fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, did y'all see how like you like we get in the airport? It was like a big sign. It was like welcome, like spell house, homecoming people. Da, da, da. And it was like be safe because they know like when they, when they come, we take over the city. Okay. So next, they said, what are some things we love about our school? I would say for um, for Spellman, the sisterhood. Like I can. I wouldn't say I can count on every girl, but I can count on them for being encouraging, just like when I'm down or whatever. Yeah, sisterhood, a good education, um, good net oh networking opportunities. Yeah, that's it. Um. Oh wow. No, I'm trying to think. Dang. <laughs> I think just the family aspect of HBCUs in general. I think yeah. we can all speak to that. For sure. Um, and then network opportunities. I think Howard gets a lot of opportunities. So I feel like the yeah. students are well set up mm -hmm. while in school and after school. Um, what else? I think I, I, I like the impromptu stuff that just happens with being in college. I think that's like some of my favorite stuff. Like just sporadic fun. Um, I think I like how a lot of people are really like professional and just like doing something good. Like... I know, like, when I was in high school, there would be people who just didn't care or didn't yeah. know at all. Like, yeah. they were just okay with not doing anything. Mm -hmm. But I feel like everybody at my school, like, they're yeah. doing something. Like, even people, I'll be like, I wonder what they're doing. Like, they have something going yeah. for themselves, too. 
they have their own business people like it's just so many people there who are doing like great things and i think that's one of the part like that's part of it that i love the most i think it's because like in, in high school that's kind of like required like you have to yeah, go to absolutely. high school but yeah. with college it's like a choice like and like yeah people there really want to do something with their lives yeah. so yeah um at our school it's like the people there are cool like, everybody, like, real cool with each other. It's like a family, really. Especially, like, the alumni and the teachers and the people that work there. Like, they real nice. The people there. Uh, I just say the energy at a &T. The energy, yeah, the energy. It's always positive. Always positive. Yeah. Also, I'll say, like, the love people have for Howard. Like, someone cannot know you and you can be wearing something. Somebody's going to, yeah. like, talk to you. Like, they know you all their life. Yeah. So, that goes back to the family aspect. Okay, so what are some things that y'all think could be better about Howard? Or about, like, your school in general? Um, for me, and I don't really want to... Okay, for me, I feel like in all HBCUs, we always hear about, like, the problems and things. So I kind of went into it expecting there to be, you know, small things like organization or, like, communication problems. So that's definitely not something that I would change because I think that's going to make me a better person, just how to navigate that process in itself. But honestly, I feel like sometimes the way they address the situations or more so how they accommodate you. So, um, I don't, I know, I don't know if y'all seen, but like the quad has certain issues and I feel like sometimes they don't really like accommodate us as well as they should. So that's probably something that I would change about it. But in all of it, it just kind of makes me, um, maybe it was, yeah. a lot of times, like, me and, like, my hall, my hallmates will just, you know, get lit, like, you gotta find ways around the problems, like, you can't just focus on the problems all the time, so I think it definitely has brought in us closer, but that would be probably something I would change about it. Um, for my school, I would say, huh. Oh, that was gonna be one of them. <laughs> I would say public safety. We're in like Spelman, Clark, Morehouse. We're in the worst part of Atlanta. I'm just keeping it up with you. The West End, Vine City, the Bluff. That's the worst part. So with everything that's been happening with sex trafficking and you know like people by our campus with guns, shootings, all that. And I just feel like the pub, um, the police on campus, the campus police can be a little bit more, um, what's the word? Like, sooner with their actions. Mm -hmm. um, also, freshman dorms, I feel like a we're paying too much money not to have no AC in them dorms. Like, that's crazy. Um, I know it's a lot that goes into that, though. But, yeah, those are only the two things. Everything else, I, I like her. I like Spelman. Um, I love Spelman. I have something else. The, like, I know how a lot of stuff is, like, not open as far as buildings. So, I think, like, that's something that should change so we can get the full experience. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of like our student center, like, that's under construction. So, we can't really use that to its full capacity. And it's, like, other buildings that people in the past had that we don't have. Um, for our school... I just don't like the area, Greensboro. It's just like, you can't change that. it's just amazing. <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> I wish I could change it, but it's like, I mean, it's just what comes with it. I don't have like that big of a problem with it. It's just moving from a city to Greensboro. It's like, yeah. it's a major difference, like, if you know what I mean. What's well, so y'all don't have like a place where y'all like leave campus and just go to the city for like a little bit? We don't have our cars for a semester. Uber? Are y'all taking our cars? <laughs> we go to yeah. Charlotte. We go to Charlotte. Like, if we go to Charlotte, Charlotte. How far is Charlotte? Like an hour. Oh, oh yeah. so where y'all can buy clothes and just like really like order stuff a lot? We go to the mall. Where's the oh, mall? Oh, there's a mall. The mall like, is just, just terrible. Oh, I ain't gonna we don't got no like, what kind of they stuff? Have they got H&M. Okay. They got, they got packs on. That's, foot locker. that's it. That's it. H&M really like, you can't go there to like. H&M fell off. I yeah, like H&M has business horrible. professional. No, yes. And like, and like basics. I mean, yes, basics. Like H&M is, 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 is where you go to get like your basics. But yeah. Forever 21, you know, I love Fashion Nova. Yeah. Boo Hoo, Pretty Little Thing. That's where I go get like my clothes clothes. But H&M, yeah. If you're a dude, like. <laughs> you're not going to you could, you know, yeah. Like, what stores do guys shop at though? Like. Packs and. Pack, oh, I like Zoomies. Y'all shop at Zoomies? Yeah, Zoomies. I, I like Zoomies. Urban Outfitters. Yeah. Oh, Zara. I love Zara, yeah. Zara. Ooh, they have a Zara? No. Oh, that's, that's all y'all stand for what y'all want to change? Uh, 
Um, I mean, I, re- I like, I like, I like, yeah. I really have nothing against it. Okay. So, yeah. I'm in the same way. I feel like the stuff that I would say, I feel like some of that just comes with the experience. Like, yeah. The, yeah. It's just what you make it. Honestly. 